Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you my craft area and first we are going to start at the desk. So my desk is in front of a window and to the left I have a pasta roller and above that I have two boxes of clay. The one on the bottom is the one I use most often and then I have a Sculpey clay mat. And then I just have some random blocks of clay. And this is the little contraption I use to film my tutorials. It is an old alt light I kind of modified. And then I have a little jar with some pearls in it and a little glitter. And then I have a Sophie and Toffee whipped cream clay. And then I have this little box of goodies. These are just the little tools I use to make my charms. There's some liquid clay in there and some needles, knives, and molds and cutters as well. And my desk looks pretty dusty right now. It's just because it's black and just shows dust really well. And there I have some of my chalk pastels I use to shade bread. I have some liquid Fimo, some triple thick, a spray bottle, and some liquid Sculpey. And that is just a clay extruder I have out. I usually do not use that. And moving on up, I have this other little container. And in it, I just have some of the bigger clay tools I use, like my acrylic roller and my like wire cutters and some of my dotting tools. Then I have another little cylinder container thing. It's just got some Marcos in it and some colored pencils and scissors. And that is pretty much the desk. Not too messy for once. And then we're moving on underneath the desk. I also have a fan down there, and here I just have some paints and other things. So most of these are just acrylic paints I got from Michaels. Here are some charms from other YouTubers. And I also have some E6000 glue in there, some sprinkles, some mold maker, glitter, more sprinkles. And that drawer is a mess because it sits on the floor and I have two dogs and their hair gets everywhere. I also have some glue in that drawer and some very old glaze that I need to throw out. And moving on to my drawer area, I have three containers with charms in them. Some of them are super old and others are pretty recent. And underneath that I just have three pieces of paper and I use these for my video backgrounds. And the first drawer has some of the plushies I have made. Uh, one of them is crocheted and all the other ones are sewn. And moving on to the next drawer. And here is just some of the stuff I use for resin, some molds, stickers, uh, more stickers, molds, and some more glitter. I have another resin drawer too somewhere, I think. And this drawer doesn't really have much in it, just some findings, cutters, some painting tape, and just random little things and extruder pieces. This drawer is pretty full. I have scissors, paint brushes, a bunch of liquid clay mixtures, some more cutters, findings, uh, and I have some molds, more cutters, and my Photoshop thing that came with my bamboo tablet and I got most of these cutters at Joanne Fabrics and let's go to the next drawer here I have a lot of clay and deco den stuff there are some molds some liquid clay and clay glue stamp a bunch of Sophie and Toffee polymer clay uh, a lot of them look unopened, but I've kind of hidden the open ones in the back. And some Hello Kitty cutters, Martha Stewart molds. And in this drawer, I just have a bunch of random tools that I usually don't use. 
and some of my wooden plates and some poster tape. And in this drawer I have my pastels, fake ice, some just flesh colored super sculpey. And I also have some cane slices and bottles in there. And we are almost done. The next drawer isn't that exciting. It just has some foam in it and some felt. And the last drawer is just all glitter. So this is all the stuff I have in my room. I hope you guys like this little area. I have some more felt and resin stuff spread out kind of throughout my house and in my basement. So this isn't everything, but this is all the stuff that is in one place. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a like and I will see you soon. Bye!